right, y'all, so we're back in the crib now. But before we even continue, guys, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell. We are currently at 3,900 subscribers, and I would truly appreciate it if you guys take the time out to subscribe so that the channel could grow to 4K right there. So with that being said, guys, let's just get right into this review. And what we got is none other than the Awake New York and Jordan Airship collaboration. And I have to say, this sneaker is completely awesome. The colorway plus the details on the leather with that beautiful tumble details, I'm truly in love with it. And based off of first impressions, I'm definitely a fan of it 100%. But now let's just get right into the box details, guys. So with this box, we have a lot going on and I'm really rocking with it, to be honest. So when we look at the box right here, you can actually see that it does say Awake right there, but it does have that nice Jumpman logo right in the middle of it. And then when we actually flip the box you can see on the bottom side it does say where i'm from and that actually goes into the inspiration of the shoe which we'll get into later in the video so now let's just focus on to the sticker tag right here so when we actually look at that sticker tag it does read off as jordan airship pesp which stands for special projects and the colorway shown is sale black and university red and of course with this airship i did go with my true to size which is a size 8 and i 100 percent recommend you go with your true to size on the sneaker or whatever your Air Jordan 1 size is. Once we open this box lid right here, you can see that we do have the Jumpman logo as well as the coordinates to the Awake NYC store, which is pretty nice. I double checked by looking up the longitude and latitude of the location and it 100% appears to be Awake New York. So that's a pretty nice detail. Then when looking at the items that come inside the box, we do have this performance manual, which is pretty custom to the Awake New York brand, which is pretty nice. So this is standard to all Jordan airships. However, with this Awake collaboration, and they decided to add some extra details. So as you can see, we do have that Awake logo right there and right below it, it does say Airship. And then we also have the longitude and latitude of the store location. And then it goes into the performance specs of the actual Airship. One more thing that I wanna show is that on this specific page, it does show the updated Wings logo, which is pretty nice, as well as that beautiful metal hang tag right there. Now when going onto the other item that comes with it is these stickers, which I think is pretty dope. So it does show the where I'm from details. And then when you actually flip it over, we do have all of the different boroughs so we do have staten island queens the bronx and manhattan which again is pretty unique and then when going on to the inside of the box right here guys you can see that we do have that awake new york custom wax tissue paper however if you actually expand it this is a beautiful big map of new york city it just shows how detailed the creator of the awake nyc brand actually went into this collaboration and i truly appreciate that so now let's just briefly go into the history of the air jordan airship as well as the awake new york brand so we're starting off with the airship that is pretty much the sneaker that Michael Jordan wore himself before he actually put on the Air Jordan 1s. And as you can see by the whole design, silhouette, and all that type of stuff, this literally was the beginning of the Air Jordan 1. Now when focusing onto the history of the Awake NYC brand, it was actually founded back in 2012 by the creator and founder Angelo Baque. And he was actually born and raised in Queens and comes from Ecuadorian heritage, which is pretty nice to see that this is a Latino creator that has established a brand and has been around for the past 12 years. But something else I want y'all to know about the brand is that Angelo Baque did not want to actually create a retail space because of course, it's definitely a risky business and depending on how the brand goes or if you're even getting customers, it can definitely cause a business to sink or swim. But he had a conversation with Virgil Abloh, the goat in fashion and design. And he essentially was like, bro, I I need you to create a store with a vibe and a presence because I know you have that capability to do so and your store is going to be successful. So that was, I believe, around 2020. And ever since then, Angelo Baquet actually opened the store and it has been successful ever since and is still there on 62 Orchard Street. Very nice store, as you guys can see from the B-roll of the beginning of the video. It's super elevated with the vibes. They even had the incense and sage burning and it had a little vibe with the DJ set going on. So overall, I truly enjoyed the experience of the Awake NYC store. And also I gotta give a huge shout out to the sneakers app or more specifically the sneakers pass for giving me that W because I've never been to that store and I'm actually happy that I went there now. They have some good merch and just a lot of things going on. But with that being said, guys, let's just go right into the details of the sneaker. So when we focus onto the toe box of the shoe right here, it has more of the Air Force One perforated holes as opposed to the Air Jordan One. And then when we actually go onto the side and look at the mud guard, we do have more of this beautiful tumble white leather and it absolutely looks clean on the shoe. Something else to note is when you go towards the top of the shoe now, you do have these beautiful white laces but it also comes with an extra pair of these red laces right here. But obviously, well, let me not say obviously. 
I'm definitely gonna stick with the white laces if I were to keep these sneakers. And then of course, when we go onto the top of the tongue tab, which is standard to all of the Air Jordan ones as well as all the airships, we do have that Nike Air logo right there. But when we actually flip it around, we do have this Jumpman Awake logo. And I think that this looks really nice onto the shoe. Then when focusing onto the lateral side of the shoe now, guys, you can see that we have this metallic hang tag. And I just love this metallic Jumpman. It looks so great. And I'm not saying I would actually wear it with the shoe outside, but it's that nice that I might actually take that into consideration and do. And then when focusing onto this area of the shoe, you can see that we do have that beautiful Awake A logo right there, stitched into the leather. And that is an absolutely clean detail. And then when actually focusing onto the Nike check right here, you can see that we do have this silver Nike check. But what actually makes the shoe pop is the fact that it does have an underlay of suede detailing. And it is actually a hairy suede detail and looks really nice. And sometimes it does rub off on your finger, which means it's of that good quality. Now when going onto the top of the ankle area, you can see that we do have that Wings logo right there. But what separates this sneaker from other airships or other collaborations is the fact that instead of saying Air Jordan on the top, it actually says Awake New York, which is a pretty nice detail. And of course, we do have this unique black and red snakeskin print, which really complements the shoe. And then when we go into the back heel area of the shoe, now you can see that we do have logo in all black. Now when focusing onto the medial side of the shoe, you can see that the same thing pretty much follows suit. So there's nothing to report right there. And then finally, guys, let's just focus onto this midsole, which is standard to all of the Air Jordan ones, all of the airships, they all look the same. However, this has definitely been aged for aesthetic purposes. And honestly, to me, this is probably the most weakest part of the shoe in my opinion, because I didn't think it needed to be aged this much. It could have had a nice little aging, but it does have that coffee stain look to it, which I'm not too crazy about, to be honest. I do love the aged midsole look, but this is a little bit too coffee stain in my opinion. And then when going onto the outsole of the shoe now, guys, this is actually a detail that I really love. So we do have a gum bottom, which I never noticed from all of the product pictures. However, it does have this frosted detail on it as well, which I truly enjoy to be honest. And of course we do have that standard Air Jordan 1 airship traction pattern right there. And something else that I wanna mention guys that are small little details on this shoe is the fact that it does share a lot of similarities to the high 85 or any type of OG Air Jordan or airship sneaker, which is the size tag. So of course I'm a size eight and that's why you have that size eight printed right there, which is pretty nice. One other thing that I wanna mention about this shoe guys is the fact that we do have this thick and very nice polyurethane insole. So it's definitely going to be a more comfortable ride wearing the shoe and I truly enjoy that. And obviously as you can see right here, we do have that Nike Air logo right there in all black. And with that being said, guys, that's going to conclude all the details as well as the history of the shoe. So now let's get right into the song for look, all right? Alright y'all, so that's going to conclude the review as well as the on for look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all. Definitely let me know what you think about the Awake New York and Jordan Airship collaborations. Do you think that this is a cop or a drop? Do you think that this is a missed opportunity? Or do you think that this sneaker is rocking? So other than that, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family and all that. You guys already know the rest. So I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.